Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Can you hear me there? Is that okay? Or will I put it onto the jacket? Which side? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Susan, hi, it's Alan in studio. How are you? I'm hi, Alan. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Not oh, a bother. That's good. I'm I'm wearing a costume. I know you can't see it. No, I wish I could. What so you, you can you can sort of say I'm looking great. <laughs> okay. Now, God, I've just seen myself in this. Now look at that. What do I look like? Calling all musical theatre fans over the next two weeks. We're delighted to be teaming up with the Board Gosh Energy Theatre to launch a very exciting competition called Dress Rehearsal. Now, from musicals to dramas to comedies, a night at the theatre is always sure to please all the family. And while we can't enjoy the theatre right now, we can all look forward to when we can see our favourite plays and musicals once again. And one person who knows all about the magic of the theatre is Susan McFadden, and she joins us now via Skype. Good morning to you, Susan. Good morning. Hi, uh, how are you? I'm all dressed up for you. I'm all dressed up for you this morning. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh fair play to you. You look well. <laughs> uh, come here, how's life in lockdown for you? It's fine. I mean, do you know, I suppose at this stage, we're probably getting on the same as everyone else. We have our good days and we have our bad days where, you know, it's sort of hard to keep positive and optimistic when you're missing your family. But, you know, we're fine. Roof over and we just have to try and keep quiet of that. I think every day. And I know you're very close to your family. You're, you're not. You're not being able to see them at all. No. Well, my family are sort of. They're over the five kilometre mark anyway. And my dad's over seventy, so he's been cocooning. But that's definitely been the hardest part. Is not like I. I was in America when this all kicked off. So when I got back, you know, I haven't really seen them since. So it's been over two months you know, since I've hugged my mum and that is just the most unnatural thing to do, to not be able to do, you know. And then um, my husband's family are in Arklow, they're an hour away. So, yes, it's been tough now. It has been tough losing our kind of support network when, when we have a baby here as well, you know. Um, but, you know, please God, not much longer, you know. And we were just talking about theatre and I know it's so many people have been affected, but literally the way the theatre world has stopped and we don't really know because there's, there's talk about it reopening, but there's people saying, how can theatre reopening with, with social distancing? I have no idea. I mean, it, yeah, which is difficult because then how do shows, shows won't be able to run because they need people in those seats to make money, to, to make a profit and to keep the shows going. So I, I don't know how that is going to work. I mean, it might be just the case that everyone's sitting in the audience with their face coverings and their gloves on, you know, Obviously, the actors on stage can't do that. That would be weird. But, you know, there has to be there has to be some way. I don't know how. And maybe they'll have to do maybe two shows a day, which will be more work for the actors. Um, so they can kind of get the same amount of people in, in a, a day, but with over two shows. I'm not sure. Um, and you, were but, you know, fingers crossed. You were saying you were in America. Was that for work before you were in America for work before all this happened? 
Yeah, I was in the States. Um, I was over there with Celtic Woman. We were um, we just started a, a tour. I was only doing a few dates within that tour because I've sort of stopped touring full time now because I have a daughter. But um, yeah, it was it was hard. We you know I arrived. I think they were only two weeks into the tour when I arrived to do my few shows. So it was you know we'd done weeks and weeks of um, rehearsals and and planning and getting the show up and running. And I think I got these two shows. <laughs> And then we were all sent home. We arrived home on the 15th of March. So, yeah, so there's a lot to kind of, for all the guys on that tour, like to comprehend, you know, you're you're kind of getting your head around being away for four months in the tour. And then you're just sent home and it's like, OK, it's a new thing to kind of to kind of comprehend now. Celtic Woman, it's still rolling. It, it's been such a huge success. Yeah, yeah. 15, actually, we were out celebrating. The show was celebrating 15 years. It's the 15th year of Celtic Woman. So, yeah, it was a quiet one now for us in the end. Now, tell us about this competition because uh, it's a great competition. We're still looking forward to getting involved with it for the board, gosh. And it's uh, tickets for all the shows next year. When we can go back. When we can go back to the theatre. I know. Yeah, Yeah, so as soon as the theatre, this will kind of kick in as soon as the theatre is open again. But the prize is, yeah, a family pass for all musicals for a whole year at the board. It's an amazing prize. Um, so what we want people to do is we want households and families and friends and everyone in the household to get together and make a homemade costume of a character from their favourite musical. So it can be any musical, any character, it's totally up to you. What's your favourite musical? I know you've, you've been in Greece, oh, you, <laughs> you've played Grisabella in Cats. <laughs> yeah, um, I, well, I suppose... Probably my favourite musical to be in was Legally Blonde because that was oh, the, yeah. the best the best one and it's contemporary and I love contemporary musicals. And um, One of my favourites to go and watch, I, I suppose everyone's favourite is Wicked, everyone probably says that, but I recently saw Waitrix, um, the musical on Broadway and I absolutely loved that. That was brilliant. Um, so yeah, but there's just so many to choose from. <laughs> so we're, we're asking people and it's not just children it can be adult look at me look at me oh absolutely yeah, all ages yeah <laughs> all ages it's open to absolutely everybody yeah there's, there's no age limit there's no criteria it's just anyone who's a fan of musical theatre or a fan of the theatre can get involved in this so how do you get involved and you dress up and what do you do so you go, basically, obviously, you know, our resources are quite limited at the moment because you can't just run out to your local haberdashery and pick up whatever you need, a bit of material. So we're kind of encouraging people to just find bits and bobs around their houses, you know, dig in your garden sheds, in your presses, under the stairs where you keep all the junk and see what you can come up with. And we're not looking for, you know, professional dressmaking. We're not going to be judging your sewing skills. It's basically how creative and imaginative and resourceful you can be. Um, so that's what we're looking for, just how inventive you can be with what you have in your household all around you. And then when you have your costume made, you upload it onto uh, social media tagging BGET dress rehearsal. That's really important. That's the hashtag that you need to use. Otherwise, we won't see your entry. So, um, yeah, social media, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter um, tagging Ireland again and the board Gosh Energy Theatre. So hashtag BGET dress up and entries uh, must dress tag up. the board Gosh Energy Theatre. And uh, we're going to... And so you're, yeah. are you going to judge it as well? I am, yeah. Who else, who else is judging? Um, Fabulous Julian Benson and uh, Stephen Saloon, who's the general manager of the Board Gosh Energy Theatre. The three of us are going to be judging. So I know we're going to be inundated with people all dressed up because it's something to do and it'll pass a day and get the photographs up, log it out, uh, get, take the pictures and log it in. Absolutely. I think and it's just a great opportunity to try and recreate some of the, the magic of theatre that we're all missing out on at the moment. That's yeah, all. and a great prize a year, a year of all the shows at Board Gosh Energy Theatre. So we're looking forward to that. Susan, yeah. you're looking great. Keep well, keep safe. And uh, we'll talk to you maybe in, you, in two weeks when we, uh, when we announce the winner. Yeah, yeah the winner, the, uh, the actual entry closed at midnight on the 22nd of May. And then the, the winner will be announced on the 27th. Okay, looking forward to that. Thanks so much for joining us this yeah. morning. 